But on this video, I'm going to show you how to make this matching, <laughs> matching bucket hat for your doggy. So this is the hat that I made for myself and I have a tutorial on it. And I was looking at Mika the other day and I was like, I think she deserves one too. So if you're sitting there thinking, I wish my dog had a crocheted bucket hat to match mine, wish no more. If it's so cute on her, let me put it on. Wish me luck. She was taking a nap, so she hates me right now. But basically, this is what she looks like. So I am using uh, doubled up acrylic yarn, size four. So it's going to be a little chunkier. We're going to start with a magic ring. And that's yeah. however you do that. So the very beginning is going to be a chain one, or sorry, single crochet a single crochet into the magic ring and a chain one. That's the very beginning of things. Um, on the video that I've shared down below, she does a total of 12 uh, stitches in the first. So in the magic ring, for me, it's gonna be 10. So this is important. I only have 10 stitches into the magic ring. So this counts as the first one. And I'm gonna do nine double crochets into the magic ring. So. the very first one is the first stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect so now you have your ten stitches that you should have ten stitches we're going to close this circle tight close off the magic circle pull the threads and now to close it off we are going to slip stitch onto the first double crochet not this single crochet chain one but the first double crochet that's a slip stitch pull your yarn up that's what she does in the video so now you should have 10 10 stitches we can count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now um to maintain the perfect circle, she put she pulls this, like you push the hook through the first, uh, through the back of the stitch and grab this yarn to pull it through. This is gonna be a little complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it gets easier. You pull it through. You can even use your fingers to pull up. And now you're going to insert your hook from the front again, and you're gonna work from here. This is what was gonna create a seamless perfect circle. So onto the first uh, stitch, you're gonna do a round of increases. Um, all, of, all of this round is increases. So onto the first stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets, two double crochets, two double crochets all around. But the very first stitch you do in every single one of these rows is gonna be a single crochet and a chain one. So now we're gonna do a round of increases um, and I'll just leave it in writing what you want to do for this perfect circle to get it to the size that you needed. Um, that's just going to be in writing in the description of the video. So I'm just going to show you here as an example. Uh, this is my first increase into the same stitch. That first single crochet chain one is stitch one. The next is a double crochet. And now you're going to do two double crochets in each stitch. to create an increase in each stitch all the way around. So once again, I will show you what my circle ends up being. I'm gonna leave the instructions of every row in the description of the video. Okay, so I have finished the circle. I did one, two, three rounds. Um, I put this on top of my dog's head and this is where the row begins. And then I added two stitch markers to see where the um, where the ear hole needs to be based on where her ear was. So for the next row, which in my case here is row four, I'm going to start the same way that I have every row here. Uh, pull the yarn through in the back. And now from here, I'm going to start with a single crochet, chain one. And now I'm going to do a double crochet up until the stitch marker. One. Oh. Two. Three. Four. 
four, five. And now this is where the ear hole needs to be. So I'm just gonna chain, I'm going to chain, let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six, I'm going to chain six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's not there yet, so I'm gonna chain two more. Seven, eight. Let's see, yeah. Just so it stretches, I'm gonna add a couple more stitches there. I'm going to double crochet to where that stitch marker is. The next stitch marker. Double crochet, and now we've got our first ear hole there. Now I'm gonna do, okay, now I have to figure out the, the next part. I don't know why that keeps happening. Now I have to figure out the next part um, because I want it to be basically the same. So here I've got technically one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna repeat on the other side, counting six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh is where I'm gonna start the ear hole, right? And then the ear is, or yeah, the ear hole is six stitches. So one, two, three, four, six. Here we go. So essentially now I have to double crochet onto the net until here, ear hole, and then double crochet. So let's do that. So I've got here, let's see. I don't know why that keeps happening, truly. Okay, and now I have reached the ear hole. Um, I'm going to chain eight. Let's see, two, four, six. Yeah, I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to double crochet to the, I believe it's gotta be the one with the slips or with the stitch marker. We will count that. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So no, it's gotta be the one after the stitch marker. I put on here, I'm gonna go into this one instead so that I can have an even amount of stitches on each side. So now we are gonna double crochet until the end of the row. This is the last double crochet, and I'm going to slip stitch on the first double crochet of the round. And now I have the ear holes ready to go. So for me personally, I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so 12 stitches here, and then the ear holes on the sides. And then at the front, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Next row, I'm going to start the way that I've started every single row by putting my loop through the back, putting it through the back, grabbing both. Okay, and now starting with a single crochet on a chain one. Now we're basically just gonna do a round of double crochets all around. I'll show you. And now that we're here at the at the ear hole, um, I'm gonna do basically six or seven. We'll see what looks good. So it's not too it's not too tight, but it's also not too many stitches. Because technically the hole itself is six stitches, but the chain is eight. So let me see how many I need to actually fill it up. It has three, four. Five, that's six. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more. So seven. Seven, 
double crochets into the ear hole. And now we're just gonna do double crochets all the way to the end of the row, making sure you make seven on the other ear hole as well. Okay, so I've done the round of double crochets to the very end. Um, I put this on my dog just to see the fitting. So basically this is gonna be the front. The back of my work currently is gonna be the front because her forehead is that much wider. Um, you're gonna wanna play around with this row to see, cause some dogs have smaller, bigger ears, wider forehead, smaller forehead. So you wanna make sure that you put it on your dog and see where it's lacking or needing more stitches. But now that mine is good to go, um, this sits right above her eye. So I'm just gonna start working on the brim. And for that, we're gonna start the row the same way we have every single time. <laughs> Mika is drinking water. Ferociously. Okay, so now we're gonna pull the yarn back and start the brim row. For this row, you wanna work in the front loop only to create that brim. Um, this one's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna have to use my fingers here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the same uh, single crochet and chain one combo. And now we're gonna create double crochets into the front loop only. So this counts as, as our first stitch. The second stitch, I'm gonna actually make an increase. So two into the same stitch, remembering to work in the front loop only. And now we're gonna do the same repetition. We're gonna do one double crochet and an increase, all working in the front loops only. And you'll start seeing how it comes out like a little bird. I'm gonna finish this row with the same repetition, one double crochet and an increase all the way around. Uh, try it on my dog, see if I need perhaps maybe one row of just single crochets. I'll probably need a tiny little bit of something. If I do, I will show you what that is. If not, I will uh, show you how to add the straps. Okay, so I do need one more row because um, it's a little too short for the brim, but I don't want it to be as wide as another round of double crochets. So I'm just gonna make a round of single crochets. Um, and I think the way I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna start this row the way that I've been doing every single time. You're back to working into both loops, not just, not just the front loop, by the way. So you wanna start with a single crochet, but I'm not gonna do that chain one this time. And I want to widen a little bit, just not that much. So I'm just gonna do, let's see here, two, three, four, five. No, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a single crochet in each stitch all the way back. Cause it's already pretty like opened up. If I make it any wider, I feel like it's gonna give me some Brero vibes and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna do a single crochet all the way around and meet you there. So now you wanna cut your ends, sorry, cut your yarn and then pull it through. We'll weave this in later. To add the straps, basically you wanna, go, this is where the brim starts. We're gonna add it over here, but from the inside, like the row before the brim starts so that the brim can sit normally and not be pulled down. We're gonna add it right before, and you want it on the sides. You want it right here on the side, so I'll show you how to add one, and then you can replicate the other side. Okay, so I added one so I could show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna actually add a second one with you. So basically I attached it on the inside of the row of this row. The one right after the ear hole and before the brim, in my case anyway. Um, but it's that attached inside. So on the other side, we're going to find the middle, which is gonna be kind of here. And so on this side, um, what I did is just put my hook through the back of a loop so it doesn't show in the front. 
Um, so I did that and now I'm gonna grab my yarn. I'm just gonna start uh, with a slip knot here to attach the yarn. And just gonna pull it through where my hook was. And now I'm going to chain one to secure it. And essentially this is just chains. So I'm gonna chain, I think on my side I did 32. Essentially, you want to chain as many as you need so that you can tie it under your dog's uh, head. And then um, I like doing like a little bow tie and leave them hanging. So mine, I like them to be like a little long. They don't have to be. They can be a little shorter. That kind of depends on you. Um, but yeah, for me, I chained 32 here. I'm going to do the same on this side, thread the ends and show you what it looks like. 